I was waiting in line for a ride at the airport. When a cab pulled up. The first thing I noticed was that the taxi was polished to a bright shine. Smartly dressed in a white shirt. Black tie. And freshly pressed black slacks. The cab driver jumped out and rounded the car. To open the back passenger door for me. He handed me a laminated card and said, I'm John, your driver. While I'm loading your bags in the trunk. I'd like you to read my mission statement. Taken aback, I read the card. It said, John's mission statement. To get my customers to their destination in the quickest. Safest and cheapest way possible. In a friendly environment. This blew me away. Especially when I noticed that the inside of the cab matched the outside. Spotlessly clean. As he slid behind the wheel. John said, would you like a cup of coffee? I have a thermos of regular and one of decaf. I said jokingly, no, I'd prefer a soft drink. John smiled and said, no problem. I have a cooler up front with regular and diet coke, cold tea, water and orange juice. Almost stuttering, I said, I'll take cold tea. Handing me my drink, John said, if you'd like something to read, I have five language newspapers. As they were pulling away, John handed me another laminated card. These are the stations I get. And the music they play. If you'd like to listen to the radio. And as if that weren't enough. John told me that he had the air conditioning on and asked if the temperature was comfortable for him. Then he advised me of the best route to my destination for that time of day. He also let me know that he'd be happy to chat and tell me about some of the sights or if I preferred, to leave me with my own thoughts. Tell me, John, I was amazed and asked him. Have you always served customers like this? John smiled into the rear view mirror. No. Not always. In fact, it's only been in the last two years. My first five years driving. I spent most of my time complaining like all the rest of the cabbies do. Then I heard about power of choice one day. Power of choice is that you can be a duck or an eagle. If you get up in the morning expecting to have a bad day. You'll rarely disappoint yourself. Stop complaining. Don't be a duck. Be an eagle. Ducks quack and complain. Eagles soar above the crowd. That hit me right, said John. It is about me. I was always quacking and complaining. So, I decided to change my attitude and become an eagle. I looked around at the other cabs and their drivers. The cabs were dirty, the drivers were unfriendly. And the customers were unhappy. So I decided to make some changes. I put in a few at a time. When my customers responded well, I did more. I take it that has paid off for you, I said. It sure has, John replied. My first year as an eagle. I doubled my income from the previous year. This year I'll probably quadruple it. My customers call me for appointments. On my cell phone or leave a message on it. John made a different choice. He decided to stop quacking like ducks and start soaring like eagles. Moral of story, you don't die if you fall into water, you die only if you don't swim. Every person around us is complaining. About one thing or the other. But they hardly think about the solutions or work towards solving them. This separates the winners from the losers. Ducks cries whenever there is rain. Eagles fly above the clouds in rains. Which one are you? Eagle or duck?